1966, a cinematic adventure featuring the iconic caped crusader hit the screen's Batman the movie. This flick took the classic comic book hero and brought him to life in a way that had never been seen before. No dark and brooding here, it was all about the bright colors, campy humor, and POW packed action. Now, why should you care about a movie from back then? Well, hold on to your utility belts because there are plenty of funny, shocking, and even sad facts about this classic. But I won't spoil the surprise, you'll have to keep watching to find out. Did this movie play a role in your childhood, or maybe you stumbled upon it later in life? Do you have a cherished memory associated with the dynamic duos on screen antics? Whether it's a laugh out loud moment or a nostalgic twinge, we want to hear about it. Share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this cinematic gem in the comments below. Your stories add a whole new dimension to the world of Batman the movie. So grab some popcorn, enjoy the ride, and let the nostalgia flow. What's your Batman the movie story? We're all ears. In 1966, Batman the movie burst onto the silver screen, bringing the beloved caped crusader from comic book pages to life. This cinematic adventure was a departure from the dark and brooding portrayals of the iconic hero, opting instead for a vibrant palette, campy humor, and action scenes packed with POW moments. Set against a backdrop of vivid colors and whimsical sets, the movie follows Batman, portrayed by Adam West and his trusty sidekick Robin as they face off against a rogues gallery of villains led by the notorious Joker, Penguin, Riddler, and Catwoman. The plot revolves around the diabolical quartet's nefarious plan to dehydrate the United Nations Security Council, reducing them to dust. The dynamic duo, armed with their wit, gadgets, and the iconic Batmobile, embark on a mission to thwart this villainous scheme and save the day. The film's lighthearted tone is complemented by the on-screen chemistry between Adam West and Burt Ward, who played Robin. The actors embraced the exaggerated nature of their characters, delivering performances that bordered on parody while maintaining an undeniable charm. The over-the-top antics, witty one-liners, and comic book-style action sequences became the hallmarks of this cinematic gem. Batman the movie, with its unique approach, quickly became a cultural phenomenon, earning a special place in the hearts of fans. The movie's impact extended beyond the initial release, sparking a renewed interest in the Batman franchise. While it may not have garnered critical acclaim at the time, its enduring popularity has solidified its status as a cult classic. Over the years, Batman the movie has achieved milestones in the realm of pop culture, influencing subsequent interpretations of the caped crusader. Its legacy is marked by the ability to evoke nostalgia, transporting audiences back to a time when comic book adaptations were a delightful escapade into the fantastical. As the cinematic journey unfolds, viewers are treated to a spectacle that transcends generations, leaving an indelible mark on the Batman legacy. So whether you're revisiting this cinematic gem or experiencing it for the first time, Batman the movie remains a testament to the enduring appeal of the iconic superhero. In a notable scene of the film, Adam West, who portrayed the iconic caped crusader, candidly remarked on the artificial appearance of a shark used in a memorable sequence. West astutely pointed out the producer's dissatisfaction with the sound effects when Batman strikes the shark, dismissing it by emphasizing the shark's overt artificiality. Around the 15-minute mark, the Penguin delivers a humorous line, we shall hang together, or most assuredly, we shall all hang separately. This phrase is a playful nod to Benjamin Franklin, who used a similar line when facing the threat of high treason from fellow delegates. Another intriguing reference in the movie comes from the Penguin's declaration, we have not yet begun to fight. This line harkens back to John Paul Jones' legendary response during the Battle of Flamborough Head in 1779, showcasing a clever integration of historical quotes into the dialogue. These instances of witty commentary and historical references add layers of humor and cultural nods to the film, contributing to the overall charm of the cinematic experience. Such touches, whether poking fun at the film's own special effects or weaving in historical phrases, showcase the unique and light-hearted approach taken by the creators of this cinematic gem. In one memorable scene of the movie, the filmmakers cleverly simulated Batman and Robin scaling a wall. To achieve this effect, the actors were filmed on a 45-degree angle with filaments strung through their capes, creating the illusion of gravity. Adam West, who portrayed Batman, made a specific request to let the audience see the filaments, adding an interesting touch to the visual spectacle. 
Cesar Romero, who played the notorious Joker, took co-star Lee Merriweather out to dinner multiple times to help her feel at ease around the cast. This behind-the-scenes camaraderie added a human dimension to the larger-than-life characters portrayed on screen. The opening criminal lair, named Ye Old Benbow Tavern, holds a subtle reference to Robert Louis Stevenson's Treasure Island. The tavern's name, Admiral Benbow in, in Stevenson's novel, is alluded to in the movie. Furthermore, the abduction of Commodore Schmidlap by the fiendish foursome and the subsequent mention of R. L. Stevenson's novel Kidnapped intertwines literary connections within the plot, showcasing a clever nod to classic literature. These subtle details, from the innovative filming techniques to the off-screen dynamics among cast members and the clever literary allusions, add layers of depth to the cinematic experience. Batman the movie not only brought the iconic superhero to life, but also infused the production with creativity, camaraderie, and a touch of literary homage, making it a unique piece of cinematic history. In the villainous lair scenes of the movie, a deliberate use of Dutch angles creates a visual representation of the crooked nature of the four villains Catwoman, Penguin, Joker, and Riddler. The tilted camera angles accentuate their nefarious intentions, Originally conceived as the pilot for the Batman TV series, the movie found its place between the show's first and second seasons. The increased budget allowed Wood for the introduction of new bat gadgets, including the iconic bat boat, enhancing the crime-fighting arsenal of the dynamic duo. A sequel idea, contemplated during the second and third seasons, aimed to introduce Batgirl, Two-Face, Poison Ivy, and a plethora of new gadgets and vehicles. However, Fox's lack of interest, partly due to concerns about casting choices, led to the idea's abandonment. A short pilot featuring Batgirl was created instead. In this cinematic venture from 1966, Aunt Harriet, portrayed by Madge Blake, remains a silent presence, devoid of any spoken lines throughout the picture. Meanwhile, at approximately the 10-minute mark, Lee Merriweather steps into the scene as Catwoman, adopting the identity of Katanya Arnia Tatanya Karenska Alisoff, a Moscow Bugle reporter referred to as Miss Kitka Distinctive Choices in Vehicles Shape the Movie's Visual Narrative. Bruce Wayne opts for a Chrysler Imperial Convertible, a stark contrast to the iconic Batmobile, a customized 1955 Lincoln Future prototype crafted by George Barisink. Venturing behind the scenes, Adam West, embodying the caped crusader, candidly critiques the artificial appearance of a shark used in a memorable sequence. The film interweaves historical references seamlessly, with the penguin playfully nodding to Benjamin Franklin and invoking John Paul Jones during witty exchanges. Memorable off-screen dynamics emerge as well. Cesar Romero, the Joker, extends camaraderie to co-star Lee Merriweather through multiple dinner invitations, fostering a human connection amidst larger-than-life characters. Meanwhile, subtle literary allusions, such as the reference to Robert Louis Stevenson's Treasure Island, enrich the narrative. Visual storytelling takes center stage, with deliberate Dutch angles employed to visually represent the crooked nature of the villains Catwoman, Penguin, Joker, and Riddler. Originally conceived as a TV series pilot, the film's increased budget allows for the introduction of new bat gadgets, including the iconic bat boat. As the movie occupies a unique space between the first and second seasons of the Batman TV series, a sequel idea exploring the introduction of Batgirl, Two-Face, Poison Ivy, and an array of new gadgets and vehicles faces abandonment due to Fox's lack of interest and casting concerns. Exploring the untold facets behind the scenes and within the narrative, Batman the movie from 1966 unfolds as a cinematic gem, marked by its distinctive choices, camaraderie, and a touch of literary homage. A testament to the enduring appeal of the iconic superhero, this film continues to captivate audiences, transcending generations. 